first one out, Laura Collett, London 52. You know Laura really well, and this is a very impressive horse. Very impressive horse, London 52. Great CV from last season. It was his first year stepping up. He loved the ERMs last year. That was where he actually really made his name. And then he went on to, uh, you know, big European events like Buccalo uh, and Blenheim, of course. He's, he's the reigning eight and nine year old champion uh, of that class. So this is one of the top horses in the world coming through. He really is, and uh, only stepped up to four-star level here 12 months ago. Things didn't go to plan on that occasion, but has come a huge, huge way in his career since uh, that moment last year. And Laura, of course, riding full of confidence. She's uh, currently ranked inside the world's top 15. Rides this 10-year-old uh, by Landos for owners uh, Karen Bartlett and uh, Keith Scott, and actually has the second best dressage average in the field, 26 Point two. So if we're going to see a horse break into the 20s, then this should be one of them. It's going to be interesting to see how a horse like this handles the going. It's been raining on and off for the last couple of days, some heavy showers. There's been another section of dressage in this arena, which explains why it's been cut up. And it, it's it's difficult enough, particularly these, these bigger moving horses, any vulnerability in their way of going gets exploited in this ground you know they've got to be connected they've got to be really working to the contact uh, to stay together on this in this terrain this is starting off nice he scored 23.1 i think it was at bukalo last year and also came out at burnham market with a very impressive test as well if she could score 23 today she'd be delighted she would, and you can just see, I mean, look at the horse's ability uh, in that medium. So you can see he's got all the gears, all the presence, the outline is, is perfect, the test being so well produced by Laura. She's just got to manage him on the on the turns and the corners, which she's doing a great job of. So I, I reckon this might not be in, it's not gonna be in record scoring territory because these aren't record scoring conditions, but this could be, one of the best tests we see this afternoon. Well, plenty of eights coming in, and that trending score really is uh, dropping down. The leader, remember, Tom McEwen, Figaro, and Het Brooks off on 30.1. So anything sub 30, Laura will go into the lead, but of course, she wants to uh, put the pressure on those still to come. Well, that's it. We made her favorite uh, on the Eco Ratings Prediction Center. She's got a 19% chance of winning, which, is, which puts her furthest ahead of the rest of the field. And that really does um, mean you need a strong start in the first phase. And that's exactly what we expect from this horse. There's one or two who could challenge him on paper, but they've all got to come in and handle these conditions, handle this arena. Just talk to us a little bit about the Eventing Prediction Centre because you're working alongside our technology sponsors, SAP, and it's basically giving us the opportunity to see the likelihood of each combination coming into the competition and during the competition as well. Yeah, exactly. It keeps updating as the scores go in and as it unfolds, but we all have so much information in our heads as to, you know, a lot of us have seen Laura in London 52 before. Uh, we've seen Piggy French at Badminton. We have all this information as to, as to who do we think could win this competition. But the great thing about the, the numbers and the, the prediction models is that they can take in all of this information for us, millions and millions of data points, and come out with a pretty good estimation of how it's going to unfold. And we know that the great thing about sport is it doesn't always go that way. And that's the first time that Laura's marks are going to drop down a little bit if you're watching that flying change. And if you do want to look at that prediction centre at home, then you can go to equoratings.com. I'll get your website plug in there, Sam. Don't Thanks, worry. Nicole. Thanks, <laughs> Nicole. Men cannot multitask. That is uh, clearly what's going on here. Trying to plug, plug the company and watch Laura because it's that trending score of 28.5. That's high for this horse, but I really don't think that we're going to see anyone going above... 75%, which would be a score of 25. I, I don't think we'll see scores in that uh, region today simply because of the conditions. That's a much better flying change. You can see she had to prepare him and set him up. Um, a younger horse, not fully established, that's going to get better in time. 
but a clean change is what she needed. Now, her win likelihood that you mentioned a few moments ago, you had her as favourites coming into the competition. Were you expecting a better test than this in this first phase? Is that going to affect it? We certainly would have expected a better test in terms of the number. We're seeing an around 28 here. We'd have expected that to, to have been a good few points lower. But I think everyone today is going to be higher. So I think, relatively speaking, it's all to play for now. The next nine tests are absolutely crucial for this competition, how it's going to unfold. Well, just seeing uh, Karen and uh, Tracy Collett in the background uh, cheering Laura on. We'll bring you her score as soon as possible, but like to be our new leader here. The question will be, what is her score? Laura, you have propelled into the lead. That was a super test. Yeah, he was super. He um, He's still so shy and in an atmosphere like that, he does get a little bit tense, but he stayed with me. He was pretty scared going down the centre line the first time when he saw the, the tower. So every time he went up that end, he kind of froze a bit, but luckily he didn't do anything too drastic. I think between Mr Bass and London 52, you must have the biggest fan base of, of anybody. I mean, you know, to have two such special horses is incredible. Yeah, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. <laughs> um, yeah, they're both superstars. And I, yeah, as I said, I'm just very lucky that I'm the one that gets to steer them around. So it's no secret that you're pretty quick around the track and London's quite a quick horse. Sort of, have you walked the course yet? Um, I don't know where you got that from, because I've probably got the slowest in ratings in the world. But um, yeah, he's uh, like he's a vast horse, but he's still green. He's inexperienced. He's only been eventing for three years, so um, we'll see. Uh, I haven't walked the course, and obviously we've had an awful lot of rain. Um, you know, in the arena there, it was like a bog. So um, you know, we'll we'll see. Um, he's very much a horse for the future, so it's not the be all and end all today. And any, what are your plans for the ERM this year? How many events can we hope to see you at? Um, I don't know, really. Um, like, to be honest, last year it wasn't a massive aim because I had young horses and um, suddenly London 52 stepped up to the mark and we ended up going to most of them. So um, we just have to see. He's, got, he's going to go to Bramham for his CCI there. So um, we'll just see, see what we've got when, when the legs come around and hopefully we'll, um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Well, we love having you here, Laura. Best of luck for tomorrow. She's on a score of 26.9. A prolific medal winner at the under 21 level. She's got to come in, though, thinking mentally she hasn't got a pole. Absolutely. And 12 months ago, Laura Collett entered this very arena as the leader, as the clear favourite coming forward to the show jumping with Mr Bass. She had a pole down. So nothing is a given. You know what to say? At first, you don't succeed. Try and try again. And this horse is so talented in this phase. You can just see how impressive a jumper he is. Well, Laura has got a very, very good string of horses, and they all have a few things in common. They're fast, <laughs> they're smart on the flat, and they jump high. It's quite nice, She's really. She's a very good jockey as well. Yeah, incredibly good. And when Laura, like I said, when Laura has won a horse that she really gets on with, there's not many people that could train it as well as that as she can and here this horse is a prime example of what I've talked about earlier if a horse is only using 50 60 percent of its scope which Laura's is an incredibly scopy horse you see how far she stood off that oxer but it didn't really make any difference it makes it so much easier as a rider well, Nicole will come down to the last and she's still clear. And there you go, she's well, in the lead. She really is in the lead and she is going to have a good amount of breathing space on the cross country as well. Laura Collett, London 52, absolutely faultless in the show jumping phase and they hold on to their lead coming forward to the cross country a little bit later on this afternoon and she will actually have 10 seconds in hand over second place Sam Watson and Laura and Sam actually the best of friends so this is going to be a really brilliant finish to the first leg of the 2019 Event Rider Masters uh, series. Laura Collett, she wasn't at all deterred by that pole down she had with Mr. Bass 12 months ago. Faultless. Here comes uh, Laura Collett and leader after the first two phases is on course. <coughs> if you're just joining us listeners, then you are. So do something slightly better, but he didn't particularly do anything wrong. It's just one of the things that happened. Well, this means that the winner of leg one of the 2018 Event Rider Masters Series will either be Tom McEwen, 
or it will be this young lady, Laura Collett, London 52. They were the Equa ratings favorites coming into the competition. They're on a score of 26.9. They had time in hand when they headed out on course. They have 28 seconds that they can allow the clock to run over. She perhaps won't know that Sam's had a problem though. So she's got to keep pushing for the time. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Laura won't know, I mean, when you're riding round, it's very rare that you can actually hear the commentary. Well, here is Laura Collett and London 52. The team behind this horse believe in him so much. He's just uh, excelled on the upward trajectory through his career. He only stepped up to the level actually at Chatsworth 12 months ago. She rides today for the horse and her own. First win of an event rider master. Yeah, no doubt he'll be disappointed, but back to Laura Collett. This is a critical round. We obviously had the disappointment with Mr. Bass last week. She's come back now with an opportunity to make it right. Here's a critical piece. Interesting, going wider to try and get a slightly different line than we saw from the others. And it definitely worked for that, how she just hung a little bit left to right over that first element. And she slightly sort of S-bended through them. She was down on the clock, but she can afford to be a few seconds down on the clock. We just need to keep an eye on it. Position is an absolutely incredible performance with Superstition. Here we are with the leader, Laura Collett. Well, let's take a look at the clock. She's just over 50 seconds to get home up at fence number 16. So she is actually going to be flirting. She's about 30 seconds she's down on the be, clock. She's going to she, be using all of her time she, in hand. She, this is going to be extremely close. So Laura Collett can let the clock run 28 seconds over to go ahead of Tom McEwen. But actually, as things stand at the moment, that is nip and tuck. Will it be Tom McEwen on the top spot? Will it be Laura Collett? She's still got to go clear through this final combination. This is going to, this combination, as I said before, it, it's nothing technical, it's not too difficult, it just wastes time. And she is going to be very, very close. This is going to be exceptionally close as she comes towards the final finish. The clock is about to turn red. Those time penalties will clock up. 0.4 of a penalty for every second over the time. Tom McEwen on 38.5. Keep an eye on Laura Collett's score. Tom McEwen is watching on closely. Is he about to take his first ever Event Rider Masters leg? No, he isn't, because Laura Collick tops the podium for the very first time in her career. She was the Equa Ratings favourite coming into the competition, Derm. She's just shown us why. Absolutely. London 52 is a horse that we've been flagging for a long time. We've been waiting for all the phases to come together. They've never had a problem really of any note. And today they've put all the phases together. They've showed us that they have the speed. What a track it was, cross country. It challenged not just the jumping, it was a very low jumping clear rate, but it also challenged the time as we expected. She met every question well. She's now the winner. And Angus, she was pointing down at London 52. Dan, as he's known at home, she's had a tough time at times this spring. She adores this horse, but she did a very good job herself in the plate. Yeah, I mean, we forget, you know, this is very much a team game. We can't, as riders, we're only as good as what we're sat on. Uh, and if you're sat on a good horse, you have to do it justice. But actually, the horse has to do you justice as well. And it really is amazing the relationship you have with your horse. Well, Laura Collett is the victor just Karen, Karen, hugging Karen Bartlett, one of the owners of London 52, Sam Albert there as well. There'll be a lot of people absolutely delighted for Laura here because she's been under a bit of pressure. She lost the title here 12 months ago with a pole down in the show jumping derm. She was definitely not going to make that same mistake here 12 months on. So much emotion at the, at the finish, that's Laura and her mother. You know, I, I talked about those fine lines at the, at the top level. We've got people crying in the studio now as well. But there's people, the fine lines in sport, the disappointment of, of Mr. Bass at badminton. And to come back here with London 52, we've seen it 
we've seen it with not just um, not just with Laura, but with so many event riders. It's such a difficult sport. It's a challenge to get back up each time, to pull yourself together, to get back in here. I thought this was going to be a really interesting way that we had to play this because Laura Collett, London 52, have been an overwhelming favourite for so long. There she is with Sam Watson, and again, just showing that community that you have here in eventing, the disappointment of first Sam, and yet he's first one over there to see Laura. We've had seconds in Arville. We had second overall last year. You have well and truly put your mark down for 2019. Oh, that horse is unbelievable. Um, he's finished second so many times and he only started that three star last year. So he's a phenomenal horse and I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, he's 10 years old, you know, selectors, everybody around the world, watch out because this horse and this combination have an awful lot of a future. Look, I only got him three years ago and he'd never done a cross country fence in his life. So he's come a hell of a long way and roll on the future. There was a lot of chat about you being one of the favourites coming into this and you have not disappointed when a lot of the other favourites came unstuck. I mean, I'm just the luckiest girl in the world to sit on a horse like London 52 and I have to say a massive thank you to this girl here because when I was at badminton last week, she hacked him because no one else rides him at home. So she had the responsibility of tuning him up. So big thank you to Lucy. Well, there you go. Maybe you can buy her some new boots then. I'd say the pub's going to get it because we only live five minutes away. So <laughs> Yeah, well, if you live close to these two girls, watch out because it is going off. And now, please welcome the Duchess of Devonshire to present the winner of leg one of the Event Rider Masters 2019. Prize money of £16,000, riding the glorious London 52, owned by Karen Bartlett, Keith Scott and Laura Collett herself, representing Great Britain. Leg winner, Laura Collett. Karen, Keith and Laura will also receive a two-night stay in the Monarch Hotel in Ireland. Compliments of the Monarch Elite event horse sales. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our top three. What a weekend we have enjoyed here at Chatsworth. It is